Three easy ways to boost your conversions. We all want more traffic, more leads, more conversions, and believe me, I've tried just about every strategy out there. The average conversion rate for all websites is about 2.35%, but that number changes depending on certain industries, platforms, users, and other factors like what is a conversion? Is a conversion to you someone filling out a form field or giving you the email address, or is a conversion someone buying a product from your website? which causes the number to change drastically. The best performing websites can go as high as 11%. Now keep in mind when they're doing 11%, that's usually not someone making a purchase, or if it is a purchase, it's very targeted traffic to a specific landing pages. And with so many websites offering similar products and services to you, how are you gonna ensure that your website stands out and actually converts? Well, here are three simple and straightforward ways to get you more conversions than you currently had before. Strategy one, add a pop-up to your website. According to Sumo, the average conversion rate for all pop-ups is 3.09%. You're probably thinking, pop-up Neil, no one likes pop-ups. Well, they convert. And I'm not telling you to put a pop-up when someone first comes to your website. The pop-up should be an exit pop-up. So to clarify on that, an exit pop-up is someone goes to your website, they may browse around, and then eventually they leave. If they're going to leave, what do you have to lose to offer them a last chance opportunity to get that conversion through a pop-up? They could just click the X button. You have nothing to lose. They're going to leave anyways. But 3.09% according to Sumo will stay and convert. That means you're going to get extra conversions by just having an exit pop-up. Do you want those extra conversions or do you not want them? That's why you should have that last ditch effort, which is called an exit pop-up. Now, I don't want you to think about an exit pop-up being spammy or people hate it. Instead, think about the offer. If your exit pop-up is, give me your email, yeah, that's spammy and no one cares about that. But if your exit pop-up adds so much value and it's just like, well, I'm gonna get this free software, free ebook, $10 off coupon, they're just like, I'm getting a ton of value why wouldn't I give you my information or convert right then and there? See, that's a valuable exit pop-up. Strategy two, add testimonials, reviews, and logos. In an interview with Conversion XL, growth marketing expert Angie S, sorry Angie, I couldn't pronounce your last name, said, if quality social proof buffers notable uncertainty, get ready for some remarkable conversion impact. In some cases, up to 400% improvement. We've seen massive conversion lifts from having amazing reviews and testimonials. Just think of it this way. Have you ever gone to Amazon, seen a product with little to no reviews or bad reviews and bought that product? Probably not. But when someone has a thousand plus reviews and they're over four and a half stars on average, what do you do? You're probably willing to buy, especially if the price is good and you're really looking for that product. So reviews, testimonials, money back guarantees, free trials, these all put people's mind at ease because you're showing them, hey, we know our product is so good, we're willing to offer you the guarantees, the free trials, the testimonials, the case studies, the reviews, because this all puts your mind at ease. And you don't just do this on your product page, but you also do this throughout your checkout page. So for example, I may have reviews and people having all these ratings on the product page, but when they're checking out, I may also have a testimonial for that product on that checkout page as well, which then helps convert more people into purchasing. Strategy three, add a countdown timer. Nothing like a little anxiety to drive urgency. According to a study by Conversion Excel, one brand increased sales by 33% by using a single limited time offer with the countdown timer. We found that when we use countdown timers, we usually don't see 33% lift in conversions, but we usually see during the period of that offer more than a seven or 8% lift. May not seem like a lot, but every little bit adds up. You know, there's this British cycling coach named Dave Brailsford. And the way he said you win the Tour de France or any bicycling tournament is you don't pedal faster, you don't train harder, because everyone does that. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do that, but that's not enough to win. What he tells you is you gotta do all those little things to win. So for example, you may go out there and you may sleep really well by getting a good mattress or a pillow, so that way you have more energy when you do your race. Or you may make sure your helmet is aerodynamic. 
or you may make sure that your bicycle seat is more comfortable so you can pedal harder longer. These are all examples of how you win in the long run by doing all those little things because they add up. 1% here, another percent there, 2% there, 3% there. It adds up and that's enough to win and beat the competition. That's what you need to do to get the edge. Now, if you need help with your conversion optimization, check out my ad agency, NP Digital. If you like this video, like it, share it, tell people about it. Thank you for watching.